everybody, Cindy the Scrapologist. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I am at, I'm getting close to the thousand subscriber mark. I'm at 800 something. And I really appreciate all of the subscribers and the comments. I try to reply to all of you. Um, I haven't been on YouTube that long, so thank you so much for all of your support. But I really need to get up to that thousand number because once you get up to a thousand, it's kind of like the magic number with YouTube. You start being able to do other things that you cannot do when you're under a thousand. And so I'm really trying to hit that goal by the end of the year. So any of you that can share my videos to your Facebook groups or with your friends and encourage them to subscribe, mention the Scrapologist. I would just really appreciate it. Let's um, let's get the word out for me if you can, because I don't want to run a, an expensive ad. It's already kind of expensive enough to do these YouTube videos, but um, so thank you uh, um, for that. I want to get up to that magic number. So anyway, what I'm doing today on this rainy Sunday is um, something that's kind of an experiment. I have a bunch in my in my cool. Cuban cigar, wooden Cuban cigar box. I have a bunch of the Tim Holtz people and I really like these but I don't use them very much and the reason for that is that they're glossy and I just don't like glossy shiny things in my books. I don't feel that they look vintage enough. So I mean I do use them but I, I wanted to try something different. So, in a recent estate sale box that I purchased, I, it had all of these vintage photographs. And I went through them, and some of them are kind of cool, but the rest of them, eh, you know. Um, I, was gonna, I was almost considering throwing them away. And I thought, well, hmm, I wonder if I could cut these out and make my own little Tim Holtz people. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to try fussy cutting some of these and we'll see where it takes us. So I thought the first thing, the first thing I was thinking about is that today I'm just going to do people, full length people. And then I'll decide later if I want to, you know, I'll see how this works and I'll decide later if I want to have partial people, you know, just headshots. I don't know. So I'm going to go through first and pick out a few full-length people. This photograph makes me so sad. I get sentimental going through old photographs. I really do. I wish that I knew their history. I, they're all dead, passed on. They're obviously their relatives didn't. I don't know. I don't, don't want to say didn't care about them enough, but or there's nobody left in the family, so their photographs are just being discarded and. I don't know. I could really sit here and get sad about it, so I'm going to try not to. But this one made me sad because, look, somebody tore it into pieces. You can see the way they went right down there, and then they tore each one right down the middle. But then they changed their mind, and they taped it all back up together again. I was thinking I was trying to build a story in my mind about this. Was it unrequited love? Maybe she... Her, her lover got, you know, they broke up and so he tore this to bits and then decided he wanted to hang on to it after all. Well, I don't know. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. So I'm not going to cut her up. I kind of like her. <laughs> and this one's a little too, this is very blurry. And that one's kind of small. Look at that little baby. So cute. I'll try that one. And this is extremely blurry, but might be kind of cool. Little cute girl with a scary doll. <laughs> Look at that. A creepy looking doll. That might be nice. That might be nice. The guy in a tree. So, all right, I'm not going to go through every one of these. It will bore you to death. Just 
just want to see if there's some that's a cool old car see something like this I would use so it's got the address mr. can't read it so and some of these are nice cabinet cards I might keep those and do something with them oh I like that one they will be really nice cut out individually okay and then there was a cool a cool old um, cardboard frame in amongst all of this that I'll use and some some postcards and some some cutouts from magazines she's fun she's really fun too this is a cabinet card so some of this I'll use this is a funny little frame the way they did this with they made kind of a popsicle stick shape out of cardboard and then it and then made a little homemade frame I was imagining maybe a gift from their kids and then some of these are just um, really big so I wouldn't necessarily fussy cut them out but look at that look at that get up look at that headband she's got on come on camera focus <laughs> oh. I don't know if it's gonna focus enough sitting on a car I would probably use that I'm concerned that this is one of the death photos and probably won't keep this the way they used to do a photo of, of their babies that had passed on. This is awesome, but I just don't know what I'll do with it. And then there's some really big stuff here. So anyway, I think I have enough to play with for right now. I think these two are my favorite. So, uh oh, look. Line it up with my table. <laughs> okay, so this has a nice postcard on the back, but I have a gazillion of these, so I don't mind cutting this up. But check, check for that on the back of your photographs because you could use the back side. They quite often um, did that on the back of these old photographs, and I have a kit in my shop with some of these postcards that you can that you can print. So, ooh, he's got little bows on his shoes. How fancy. <laughs> so, um, I had a new experience yesterday. I tried to buy some ephemera, a, an, a, an ephemera lot, at an antique, um, at an online auction. And it did not work out for me. <laughs> so the first thing is, I didn't really know what I was doing. And so I got online and it asks you, there's a space where you have to put in your credit card and um, it asks you for your bid. So, and then there's a countdown clock. So I had been watching it for a couple of days and I thought it was kind of like eBay, so I waited until the very last minute. I counted down five, four, three, two, one, and right before it hit one, because there was, it said that there were, there was just one other person watching that item. So right before the countdown clock expired, I clicked bid, and it was only a ten-dollar bid, but that was the minimum. It wasn't going to go above that. So it said to me, congratulations, you were the highest bidder. So I said, yay, I was in my craft studio, yay, I got this whole box of ephemera for 10 bucks, yay, yay, yay. Oh, I'm excited. Well, then the next thing that pops up is your credit card has been approved. You can now go to the online auction. So what I didn't understand is that that was an absentee bid that I was doing. If you don't want to sit and watch the whole live auction you can do an absentee bid and it will automatically put your bid in for you so I thought darn it <laughs> I had been all happy yay I want it no that was just a, a bid 
And I sat there and I watched that clock for like two hours while I was crafting to, to not miss it. Oops, I almost cut his foot off. So, the next thing is the online bids. The online auction starts. Well, my item was 100 of, um, was 300 of 400 items. So, for five hours, I had to keep coming up and checking on how soon would it be before my item was up for auction. Five hours I had to watch this thing. And it finally came up. I bid uh, my ten dollars. It, it, it automatically did that. And somebody bid twenty, and I thought, well, I will go up to thirty. It was worth it. But then somebody bid fifty. It, this this box was not worth fifty dollars. I don't know what this person was thinking or what they were planning on doing with it. But um. So this was basically a six-hour process for nothing. I, I won't be doing it again. <laughs> I learned my lesson. So look, I think he turned out pretty good. And yes, it is kind of glossy, but more of a photograph glossy than the Tim Holtz. Let me get out another one of those. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if online auctions are really, really worth it, but look. See the difference in the gloss? And because they used really nice paper back then too, it's it's nice and stiff. I like him. I think this is going to work out well. My scissors, my fussy cut scissors are really nice in case you're wondering. These are Fiskars Titanium and I think they're self-sharpening. But because I have carpal tunnel so bad in both of my hands from all of the piano playing I do, I like these because they spring back open so you don't have to it cuts down your hand movements by 50 percent you don't have to open and close they spring right back open and they're nice and sharp and they fussy cut really nicely but it doesn't have anything else on here it just says Fiskars um, you could probably google like ergonomic or something like that okay so we know he's going to work out. I'll cut him up later. And let's try... I'm going to try this little girl with her dolly. I like to get rid of the excess paper first sometimes when I'm fussy cutting because, you know, it kind of, your, kind of gets in your way. Their shoes are a little hard. With him, it, the shoes kind of blend in a little bit on some of these to the ground. So you have to be careful not to cut their feet off. I'm really excited about this project. This is definitely, this is definitely going to work. And these old photographs seem to be a dime a dozen, too, at uh, antique stores and estate sales. People, for the most part, don't want somebody else's old photographs. Having a little bit of a hard time distinguishing between her hair and the trees there. So... You have to be a little careful while you're cutting these out. Oops, I almost cut the baby doll's hair off. So when I got up this morning, it was 35 degrees and just starting to rain. If it had been two degrees colder, we would have had snow not ready for that yet although we've had an absolutely gorgeous fall I hope you have too the leaves the colors of the leaves were the boldest and brightest I've seen in the past probably five years since I've been back in Maine they were really 
spectacular. Now I see where her hair ends, okay. And she's cute too. Oh, I'm loving this. Let's try one more. Let's try the baby. I might end up cutting off some of that excess gown. Such a cute smile. Oh. Aged eight months. Born in, in 1910. This is Robert, born in 1910. Sad to think Robert's deceased. See, uh, I can't think about those things. <laughs> I'm a Jehovah's Witness, so I understand what happens when we die and that we're going to be resurrected and all these people will be back again, so focus on that and not get too sad. But I think about all these forgotten lives, you know, what these what did this Robert accomplish in his time on on the planet and who loved him and I am going to trim. I can kind of see a little bit of the gown here. I'm going to maybe just trim it. I think that looks a little better. And then trim this just a little. Just kind of in a shape that makes sense, I guess. the way that turned out too. Let me just fussy cut in between Robert's feet. Yay. All right. These are turning out really nice. I'm happy with these guys. I hope you try it. If you come across some old photographs. And I do, how I use these is I like to Put them on clusters so this is a piece of scrap of paper that I just sewed around the edges and then I put these two flapper girls oh look she has almost the same dress a little flapper dress so I do that and these can go in as pockets or flips in your journals and sometimes I just kind of stick them in um, so you can um, pull them out and use them somewhere if you don't want to keep them in the pocket. I have a tutorial on how I did the zigzag zag pocket somewhere in my videos. So I stuck a little guy in there. And then sometimes I, on these tall guys, tall skinny guys, I like to make bookmarks. So I just made a couple of bookmarks. But these are the Tim Holtz ones and see I'm going to like them much better um, taking them from vintage photographs so they're not quite as shiny, shiny and new looking. Cool. Very happy with this. Okay. Well, give me a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you have any old photographs that you're going to start going to start cutting up. I'm going to put these on a darker paper. That looks better. <laughs> All right. Well, just a quick video for today. A little experiment with me video, I guess. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to share and help me get up to that magic number. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.